beauty of creation is all around us, even in the simple songs of a robin coming back to life after a winter. I am sharing just a day in the life with you today. I'm getting myself dressed and ready for the day and getting all the things going in my morning routine and getting breakfast ready for the kiddos, doing some cleanup, getting my cast iron cleaned, and just doing my mom life of three kiddos and a working husband. So come along today. Just come join in the beauty of what a stay-at-home mom of three has to offer and hope you find some gentle motivation and some inspiration for your home today. The girls helped take their sheets off their bed and then it was my turn. It is our sheets day. I often film on sheets washing day for some reason, but I'm going to get that going in our laundry and washing machine. And if you missed my revamp of our laundry slash back porch area, please watch that video if you want just a little inspiration to create a space you love and neutralize the ugly. I really don't enjoy our laundry room until now when I just used some things I had on hand to add a little warmth and love and beauty to this space. It's also my sourdough sandwich loaf baking day and I wanted to make sure my sourdough was active and bubbly and it sure was. All right, friends, we are having a beautiful day today. I am in the kitchen right now making my sourdough sandwich loaf. We were completely out, even in the freezer, and I'm working on some bulk enchiladas. We are having a meal train for next week, and I'm gonna freeze one, give one to a gal who is having her knee surgery, and um, just have that prepped so we can have some and they can have some for their family. And we've had a beautiful start to the morning. It's 9.30 already. The girls are outside, as you saw. Elias is down for his nap. We got laundry going. It's bedding day, so the girls help take their sheets off, and we already put the fresh on. I've got um, some cleaning done, a little bit of cleaning done already, and so it's just really wonderful. It's March. The tulips are coming up, which is very early, by the way, for South Dakota, and the girls are getting dirty in the dirt and enjoying just being outside. I would love to be out there, but sometimes the homemaking tasks call for us to be inside. Um, I haven't done any schooling with the kiddos yet either, so today I'm just gonna be super flexible and just work on what I need to get done now while the kids are playing. Um, I heard someone say once, if kids are occupied and doing well together, let them be, and then you can go on to something else if things start going awry, right? So I'm gonna keep working on what I am doing. I've got my onion chopped. I'll have to shred or grate the cheese. And then I just used a canned enchilada sauce and I bought tortilla shells. So very simple. It's one of my go-tos for people if they have a baby or something like that. And I do mild just in case people don't like a lot of spice. So let's do some homemaking today and keep working on that. The meals, the laundry, and the life of me as a mama with three littles. The whole world had only one language and everyone spoke it. So imagine everyone could understand you. All the people. They moved to the east and found a broad valley in Babylon. I just had my husband pick up the ingredients for this. So the tortilla shells are a little bit bigger than I was hoping for, but they worked. And I just put the one for the family in an aluminum pan and then I'll save ours in a glass pan. Enchiladas are done. This one is ours and then for our gal from church. So 
I'm gonna leave the dishes kind of a mess because we have to go run an errand. Well, my meeting I had before lunch took a lot longer than anticipated. We got back even after lunch time, so it's just get leftovers on the table. We had a deer roast yesterday, so we had that with potatoes, and so it was just kind of a whirlwind. I got the kitchen mostly cleaned up, as you saw, and now kiddos are down for a nap in quiet time. I need to work on editing a video. That's usually what I do this time of the day, between like that 1 and 2.30 time. And then sometimes I do the editing and stuff like that in the evening. So it's probably we have to today because um, there's just been a very full evenings and days. So it's been hard to work on video editing. And I've been doing some projects during nap time instead of editing. So I'm going to do that. I have half my coffee still left, which if you guys know me, it takes me a while to drink it anyways. But this is more than usual. So I'm going to sip on that, edit, do a little voiceover ring and just sit here look at the beautiful sunshine coming through the window it is kind of cloudy a little bit cooler day today but it's still a nice day out so we're gonna do that it's nice supper's already prepped because we're gonna eat the enchiladas i think tonight that's just what we're gonna do make it easy and i'll just pull out some canned vegetables because i don't have fresh lettuce which is just fine. So I've been trying to really just eat the vegetables that are in season. So we're just gonna eat some canned green beans or some canned carrots I have and call that good. So I'm sharing with you this card and notepad set that a friend has created to sell and put on an Etsy shop. She loves quilting and is an amazing quilter, but she has created this collection for spring to um, let you guys purchase for a discount as well if you use my code davy15 you can head to etsy and search grace and peace co she has this beautiful vibrant collection with this quilted pattern and the neat part about this is every purchase you get that it helps to support a new quilter and what a way to inspire those old-fashioned skills that I think are so valuable. So I'm just using the notepad right now to make a list of some more spring cleaning things I want to do and then I'll be picking one of those beautiful cards to write as just a thank you or a get well card. They are so versatile, so beautiful and a handcrafted design by my friend and if you would like to get this definitely check out the description box and it goes through this collection goes through april 30th and then she will be creating a summer collection followed by a fall collection and then a christmas collection so you could be well stocked with your notepads and um, stationery and your cards for the rest of the season so i am excited to work so as you saw i got some notepads and cards from this beautiful company grace and peace co so i love these cards i've already sent one out just you know as a special thanks and i think many of you guys will really like these this set this is a spring collection she'll come out end of april uh, beginning of may with a summer and then fall and then christmas just fun to support a local and on her etsy shop so i'm just excited to be working with her for this and 
um, yeah, it's just fun to be able to support her. And you can check out Davy15 in the description box and use that on her site or on Etsy to get a discount of 15% if you order these notepads and little cards and just a beautiful set and what a blessing to be able to use in your home or to gift to someone else. But anyways, now that supper is already prepped, I don't have to prep supper. I usually do that at nap time. I had a productive nap time even though Elias spoke up a little bit early. He's actually down for like a third cat nap. This teething thing, I talked about it before, but my kiddos with teething, it's like they come down, then they go back up, they come down, they go back up. And so sleeping is hard, eating solids is hard. Just the life of a mama working with little kiddos who are in pain and you feel for them and you can't do a whole lot other than love them. Try to soothe their pain the best you can and let them rest. So girls are watching the Veggie Tales right now and I just got some yogurt. Where is it at? wrapped in my green towel so I'll sit overnight and um, be ready to strain to make my Greek yogurt in the morning but I need to make a latte need right <laughs> so, short. so I'm gonna make a single shot latte enjoy that and then we'll probably go outside just enjoy the rest of the day I gotta fold some laundry that might be tonight um, when my husband's home I got some packages I gotta open. Still the normal, just working through life routine of the day. Taking just a moment to enjoy my drink of a hot latte. But I got some grow lights that I'm excited to use for my seedlings. Um, Cause I gotta start those this week too. So I just ordered them off of Amazon. I'll put them in the description box, the link for you if you're interested. So that way I can either do it in my basement or somewhere in my house up here and it'll grow better than trying to find a window with a bunch of little kids. Okay, one more thing I got for starting seeds is this seed tray. I think there's two maybe, but I had one like it last year and I really liked that it had the cover and the ventilation. Um, so I just ordered more of these off of Amazon too. Let's see what they look like because my girls are excited to see it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's more than I thought. So here is, this is nicer quality than I got last time. They're definitely reusable. Okay, so, yeah. They're a harder plastic, and then to get it out after they've grown, you can squish that. It's like a rubber, so really good quality. Yeah, I feel Yeah, feel it. That's cool. And then... What's that? This is for the bottom, so that you can put water in the bottom. And this, with these little spinners to vent it, goes on top. Mm -hmm. And then put this over top so it has some ventilation. And then you can close it. Yeah. What did this say? So this will be really nice with those grow lights. So I'll link both these items in the description box for you. Oh, yeah. So you can start your seeds too. We spent a solid chunk of the late afternoon outdoors walking, playing outside at the park. And then it's time to come back home to bake our supper and to get my bread loaves baked. So here's a trick that I saw with your parchment paper is to wet it down, wring it out, and then put it in your bread loaf pans. It works so well because you don't have to worry about it falling in, um, getting in the way. And so I highly recommend wetting down your parchment paper before you put your bread in it. The enchiladas were a hit. My family loves Mexican and I had to catch this beautiful sunset. The sunsets and sunrises right now are just breathtaking. And so I wanted to share that with you as it sets. Drop before her, she almost fell down a steep bank. There was Grace. There, in a great pool of blue, sat Grace. The sun shone on her golden hair, blowing in the wind. She looked up at Laura with big eyes as blue as violets. Her hands were full of them. 
I enjoy just as much sitting and listening to my husband read Laura Ingalls as my girls do. So it is time to close up my vlog for today. Enjoy some candlelight and lamplight and my wonderful tea. Edit a video some more or read a book or just chat with my husband.